Hi everyone, welcome back to our read alouds. So I don't know if you know, but this week, May 9th through the 15th of 2021 is National Police Week, a week to honor our good police officers who work hard to keep us safe and to protect us all, hopefully. Um, so I have just a fun book for you today for National Police Week. It is one of my favorite books to read my younger friends that we haven't gotten to read this week. My older friends can enjoy it too because some um, stories just never get old, right? And it is about a police officer and it's about a police officer who has a partner because a lot of police officers have partners, someone to help them out, right? Just like we work together with partners sometimes. But this partner is not a person. It is who thinks they know. What animal do police officers often have that part is true. The story is fiction, but this is true. They do often have this animal as a partner. Yeah, if you said dog, thumbs up. So this book is written by a woman named Peggy Rathman. And here is Officer Buckle. That's his name. And his partner is this dog up here called Gloria. Now, some of my friends might notice this nice medal this award on the front. Earlier this year, we talked about an award called the Caldecott Medal, right? And every year, the um, American Library Association, the ALA, gives out this cool award for the books that they think have the children's books, I'm sorry, that have the best illustrations. What are the illustrations? The pictures, yeah? So if you see a book with this medal that says the Caldecott Medal, or sometimes it might have a silver one because that means it wasn't the number one winner, but it was like a runner up. It was like second, third, fourth place, which is still really good, right? So if you see that Caldecott gold winning medal or the silver um, honorable mention one, then you know that this book will probably have some pretty good pictures. This book is called Officer Buckle and Gloria by Peggy Rathman. Officer Buckle knew more safety tips than anyone else in Napville. Every time he thought of a new one, he thumbtacked it to his bulletin board. Safety tip number 77, never stand on a swivel chair. Why don't you wanna stand on it? You're gonna go whoop. Sometimes we learn the best lessons by making mistakes. Officer Buckle shared his safety tips with the students at Napville School. Nobody ever listened. Sometimes there was snoring. Afterward, it was business as usual. Mrs. Topple, the principal, took down the welcome banner. Never stand on a swivel chair, said Officer Buckle. But Mrs. Topple didn't hear him. Then one day, Napville's police department brought in a police dog named Gloria. When it was time for Officer Buckle to give the safety speech at the school, Gloria went along. Children, this is Gloria, announced Officer Buckle. Gloria obeys my commands. Gloria, sit. And Gloria sat. Officer Buckle gave safety tip number one. Keep your shoelaces tied. The children sat up and stared. Do you see Gloria? Officer Buckle checked to see if Gloria was sitting at attention. She was. Safety tip number two, said Officer Buckle. Always wipe up spills before someone slips and falls. The children's eyes popped. Officer Buckle checked on Gloria again. Good dog, he said. Officer Buckle thought of a safety tip he had just discovered this morning. Never leave a thumbtack where you might sit on it. Officer Buckle, the audience roared. Officer Buckle grinned. He said the rest of the tips with plenty of expression. The children clapped their hands and cheered. Some of them laughed until they cried. Officer Buckle was surprised. He had never noticed how funny safety tips could be. After this safety speech, there wasn't a single accident. What was the difference? Why did the kids pay attention? Think it has something to do with this silly little dog? Yeah, learning can be fun, right? You still have to pay attention, but sometimes when it's a little more interesting, that helps you out. 
The next day, an enormous envelope arrived at the police department. It was stuffed with thank you letters from the students at Knapville School. Every letter had a drawing of Gloria on it. Officer Buckle thought the drawing showed a lot of imagination. His favorite letter was written on a star-shaped piece of paper. It read, you and Gloria make a good team. Your friend, Claire. P.S. I always wear a crash helmet. Safety tip number seven. Officer Buckle was thumbtacking Claire's letter to his bulletin board when the phone started ringing. Grade schools, high schools, and daycare centers were calling about the safety speech. Officer Buckle, they said, our students want to hear your safety tips. And please bring along that police dog. Officer Buckle told his safety tips to 313 schools. Everywhere he and Gloria went, children sat up and listened. After every speech, Officer Buckle took Gloria out for ice cream. Officer Buckle loved having a buddy. Then one day, a television news team videotaped Officer Buckle in a state college auditorium. When he finished safety tip number 99, do not go swimming during electrical storms. Gloria, you could get electrocuted, right? Do not go swimming in electrical storms. The students jumped to their feet and they applauded. Bravo, bravo, they cheered. Officer Buckle bowed again and again. That night, Officer Buckle watched himself on the 10 o'clock news. Oh, what's he say? Does he look very happy? The next day, the principal of Knapville School telephoned the police station. Good morning, Officer Buckle. It's time for our safety speech. Un Officer Buckle frowned. I'm not giving any more speeches. Nobody looks at me anyway. Oh, said Mrs. Topple. Well, how about Gloria? Could she come? Someone else from the police station gave Gloria a ride to the school. Gloria sat on stage looking lonely. Then she fell asleep. So did the audience. After Gloria left, Knapville School had its biggest accident ever. It started with a puddle of banana pudding. Splat, splatter, sploosh. Everyone slid smack into Mrs. Topple, who screamed ah! and let go of the hammer. The next morning, a pile of letters arrived at the police department. Every letter had a drawing of the accident. Officer Buckle was shocked. At the bottom of the pile was a note written on a star piece of paper. The note said, Gloria missed you yesterday. Your friend, Claire. Don't worry, I was wearing my crash helmet. Safety tip number seven. Gloria gave Officer Buckle a big kiss on the nose. Officer Buckle gave Gloria a nice pat on the back. Then Officer Buckle thought of his best safety tip yet. Safety tip number 101. Always stick with your buddy. The end.